Okay, fam, SoundHound is up over 132% year to date. They've had multiple partnerships, acquisitions, as well as NVIDIA investing a lot of money into them. And now they're on the move again. We're going to talk about what SoundHound is up to right now. Then we're going to touch base on the technicals and fundamentals of SoundHound and how you should implement a strategy into your portfolio on SoundHound and where you should sell some puts, buy some shares, how to dollar cost average. We're going to talk about everything in this video. However, before we talk about SoundHound, Tomorrow is my free masterclass webinar, October 19th, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. This is a free masterclass webinar. You will learn more in the one hour that you spend with me than you will anywhere else. And that's what all of my students and previous webinar attendees have said. I'm going to have a full Q&A where you guys can ask me questions and a massive announcement during the webinar. Spots are limited. So you guys have to sign up right now as quick as possible before we're completely full. Last time we filled up the day before the webinar, and that's today. So first come, first serve, sign up. Link is in the information box below, and I look forward to seeing you there. SoundHound is up 145% year to date and 179% in the last 12 months. They have a serious investment from NVIDIA, which shows how much attention they've been garnering over the last 12 months. And not only that, they acquired all set for voice AI and recognition and ordering and voice ordering services in the restaurant space, working with multiple restaurants around the world. Not only that, they acquired Amelia and Amelia will generate over $150 million and additional revenue for SoundHound in the year 2025. But SoundHound is on the move yet again. SoundHound brings AI voice assistant to another Stellantis brand. Now remember, they were already partnered and going to be in all the Stellantis, which are Dodge vehicles, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, and now there's another partnership. What's going on with SoundHound here? The company announced the successful integration of its generative AI voice assistant in vehicles made by subsidiary Stellantis NV. SoundHound announced Thursday morning that its voice assistant SoundHound Chat AI has been integrated into Lancia vehicles in Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Portugal, Spain, and the Netherlands. This is huge. Lancia customers will now be able to access generative AI responses in addition to other in-car voice assistant features. The company is the latest Atlantis brand to embrace SoundHound's AI voice assistant. SoundHound also recently launched its AI assistant in Alfa Romeo, Citroën, Pugo, Opel, and Vauxhall vehicles. We are thrilled to bring SoundHound Chat AI to Lancia vehicles and offer even more drivers and passengers a new level of convenience and connectivity, said Michael Zagorsik, who is the COO of SoundHound AI. This expansion marks another important step in our mission to transform our in-car experiences with cutting edge, truly conversational voice technology that drivers love and automakers trust. SoundHound is expected to report earnings for the third quarter sometime in early November. According to the estimates, Analysts are anticipating a loss of seven cents per share and a revenue of 23.02 million. SoundHound shares have surged several other AI related names in 2024. SoundHound shares have surged alongside other AI related names in 2024. The stock was up nearly 150% year to date at last check. SoundHound has been popular among retail investors ever since NVIDIA reported investments in multiple companies in a 13F filing earlier this year, disclosing 1.73 million shares stake in SoundHound. Look, I've been telling you guys SoundHound is huge and they're doing all the right things, making all the right moves. This AI integration into automotive, specifically Stellantis, is huge. In fact, a lot bigger than the untrained eye might realize. So the reason I say this is because I'm a car fanatic. I've had BMW, Land Rover, Hellcats, Durangos, Durango SRT, Jeep SRTs, Honda Civic. I've had Toyota Camrys, Corollas, Toyota Supra. The list goes on and on. I've had like a handful of Shelby's too. And all of their AI systems in the car, even the most recent vehicles had a 2020 GT350. I've had 2019 and a 2020 Hellcat. Neither or none of these vehicles have good AI. In fact, they have none. When you connect your phone to it, try to talk to the car, talk to your phone, it sucks. They all suck. Not one car has had proper AI. SoundHound has a chance to integrate voice AI in a way that allows a car to perform a lot better and seamlessly, better than ever in history. There is that opportunity there. If SoundHound can seize this moment in order to make 
AI, voice assistance, and be able to talk to your phone in the car and make things seamless through your phone and your car via your voice like never before, SoundHound has a chance to pioneer this very niche in the market. My biggest gripe about Android and CarPlay is that when you're talking to your phone or trying to talk to your vehicle, the microphone on the vehicle doesn't translate well to the phone when you're trying to use Siri or Google Assistant. And the phone itself works fine when it's not plugged into the car. If SoundHound can integrate their chat AI like they're intending to do and pioneer this specific niche in the market where they can actually have voice AI working properly with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, this will be huge. They just have to implement it so you can talk to the car or talk to the car and relay that to the phone. They just have to get it right to where you can talk with your car or have that relayed to your phone via Android Auto or CarPlay and it works seamlessly and flawlessly with more features and more power. And this will be a big opportunity for SoundHound and only time will tell how good it really is. I want to show you guys where I would get into SoundHound, show you the chart, the technicals, the fundamentals, the financials, and then I'm going to show you guys how to sell puts or buy the shares. And we're going to talk more in depth about how to trade this stock and how to add it to your portfolio and dollar cost average. However, before we do that, if you guys are looking to grow your portfolio, retire early, or just learn more about trading and get more successful at doing it, I would love to help you guys. I offer a full training course, Discord to surround yourself with like-minded people, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you guys are looking to grow your portfolio and your financial freedom, which you ultimately deserve, I would love to help you. It's a very serious mentorship. If you show up committed to learn, I'll show up committed to teach you everything you need to know. So you guys can go to investwithcorey.com. You can check out the case studies to look at my students' testimonials. We have Josh here, who's up 90K in three months. Sherry took her portfolio from 8K to 22K in three and a half months. You guys can also click here on training and watch this video right here. It will answer every question you may have. Then you can book a call with my team and I. This way I can build a system that works just for you. Link is in the information box below. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. You guys can see SoundHound has has broken out of this wedge this downtrend and uptrend and it broke out right at the edge of the divergence right here and it has to break 550 and also 650 so there's a lot of resistance up here and there's even more up at 770 and a ton at nine dollars to nine dollars and fifty cents and at this point in time if they meet the estimate with rates being cut and the new announcement SoundHound right now is probably trading with a floor of $5. I don't think we'll see SoundHound below five. If we do, I think 450 is the solid floor at this point. But really, five going forward looks like is going to be the bottom. Now, I could be wrong on that, but it looks like five is going to be the very bottom because look at all this support at $5. If there's bad news, well, then SoundHound will probably drop back down to 450 or even $4. But if they meet the estimate, I see between five and 550 being the new consolidation area. If they exceed expectations on earnings, the stock is likely to do this number right here, consolidated a bit before earnings, maybe come down, test $5, come back up. But if they meet the estimate, it's probably going to stay here. However, if they beat the estimate, it's likely to come up and retest maybe $650, come back down and find a new floor right here so the new floor will be about six dollars maybe 590 somewhere in here which is where there's a lot of resistance so this is what i would say i would say that you should start adding to your position now if you don't already have shares i would start doing so maybe buy 100 200 shares and then sell some five dollar puts we can go over here and check out soundhound I would look at selling 550 puts, honestly, going out to next week, and that'll get you $37 juicy premium. This will give you a break even price of $5.13. So as long as SoundHound stays where it's at now, you'll get a sign, but you're still in the green. If you do not want to take that kind of risk and you just want to be a little bit safer, sell $5 puts for about eight or nine dollars. And this gives you a break even price of $4.90. And it's likely, highly likely. SoundHound will not go below $5 on earnings unless it's bad. Even a neutral, just SoundHound meeting the expectations, SoundHound's unlikely to go below five. And even if it does, you're gonna be getting this stock at 490 and you can also roll out and down if you need to. But personally, I would probably sell two 550s and three fives. This way, you're kind of giving yourself a difference in the spread, giving yourself different strikes, and you can generate 
close to $100 on those five puts. Or you could just start buying shares now. But the one thing I would not do is sell covered calls on SoundHound because you're going to sell, let's say, a covered call at $5.50 to collect 10 bucks. Then when the stock moves, 75 cents or more. So you could sell a 550 call for $11, but the only problem with that is SoundHound runs to $6 and you just threw $75 away for 11. Not worth it. I don't like selling covered calls on SoundHound, Neo, SoFi, Enovix, Serverbotics, and most of the time, not even Palantir. But now that Palantir is getting more expensive and it's expanding and it's in the S&P 500, now I would look to sell some covered calls when it hits resistance. But not a whole lot on SoundHound covered calls wise. So I'd be very safe about doing that in your portfolio. But right now is the time to add to SoundHound. I think this earnings is going to be incredible. I think it's going to be really good. And if it is, the stock's going to move a lot and you'll be glad you did. Remember, I told everyone Palantir was going to go to 40 or $45, maybe even 50 by the end of the year. They've Palantir's hit highs of $45, and I called this at $21. I told everyone SoFi would run to $10 to $12 by the end of the year. It's already broke $10, and it was pushing mid-10s already. And I've told you guys that SoundHow would run as well. When it was $3.60, I told you guys back in June, buy this stock. And here we are in the mid-fives, and we've already peaked at $6.50 a little over a month and a half ago. So if you had to just taken my advice and got in at 360 and sold at 660, you would have doubled your money between May and August. So you figure three to four months, you double your money. 100% return in three to four months. S&P returns like what? Eight to 12% per year? Nowhere near 100%. So I've been telling you guys which stocks are good and they're running. And I also gave trade alerts out to you guys this previous week on YouTube with Walmart. They printed Wayfair. They printed. So you guys can see the value that I bring. So trust me on this SoundHound is a great stock. They're just getting started. And if they pioneer chat and voice AI in automotive, like they have an opportunity to do right now, this stock could see its way in the next three to five years being 40, 50, even $60 or even higher than that. That's really honestly a five to 10, maybe even a 20 X return, even if it takes five years, 20 X in five years is insane. That's five X per year. I'm not saying that's going to happen just like that, but there is potential for that. And SoundHound is really breaking the barrier right now. And Nvidia wouldn't have invested in them if there wasn't potential there. I truly believe this could be one of the greatest investments that you can make in your portfolio, but you have to make it now before it's too late. Don't forget guys, free masterclass webinar tomorrow, October 19th, 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific time. You guys are gonna learn a lot with me more than you will anywhere else. I hope to see you guys there. I have a huge announcement. I'll be hosting a Q&A so you guys can hang out with me one-on-one -on -one and ask me any question that your heart desires. If you guys also want to sign up for the coaching, the Discord, the full training course, I would love to help you fam grow your portfolio. You can sign up at investcory.com. Links in the information box below. We'll see you guys in the next upload. Take care of yourselves.